Episode of Config B. Today we're gonna talk about Cisco SD WAN quality of service or the QoS. First thing we have a router which has the WAN side and the LAN side. On the LAN side, if you talk about the QoS, then we talk about classifications. So basically, classification does is uh, we want to put the applications to the class. So if we put the application to the class, we can name the class to voice class or video class. Then we can either put the prefix list or the IP addresses subnet or we can put the port into the class. That is called the classification process. On the WAN side, when the packet get classified through the router, we talk about the marking. So once we classify it, and then we consider whether or not we want to mark the packet. The mark, mark the packet is we gonna mark the SCP on the IP header, and then we can send it out through the WAN interface. After that, the last process of the QoS is the scheduling. So basically we have a queue, which is Q0, Q1, Q2, or Q3. Then we put the class or the application which is already classified in the class, like class voice, class video, class um, yeah, whatever, uh, business internet. And then we're gonna push to the queue. Each queue will have a different characteristics. Uh, for example, Q0, it is a low latency queue, which is preserved to be 20% of the total bandwidth. Or Q1, 50% of the total bandwidth. And Q2 is 10% of the total bandwidth. What is the bandwidth here? The bandwidth it is configured on the WAN interface, which is in the SD WAN of the Cisco, we put it. Uh, we need to put the shaping rate there. So if we don't put the shaping rate there, it's gonna use the uh, the default interface, which is one gigabit per second or ten gigabit per second. So now, how do we configure the SD WAN QoS? Let's take a look. On the WAN site, we can use the localized policies to create the uh, scheduling um, on the interface of the router. Uh, we can use the centralized policies to do the classification so we can map the traffic or the applications to the class. And finally, we're going to do the shaping rate on the WAN interface of the router because we need it to calculate the bandwidth percentage on the scheduling part. So let's summarize um, how to configure the QoS. First, we do the localized policies. To do the localized policy, we need to go to localized policy and then we need to go to configure the class list that we're going to have Q0, Q1, Q2, Q3, or it can be up to Q7. Once we have a class list already, then we're going to configure the QoS map, which is the mapping between class and queue. So in the step one, we have a queue, we have a class already, then we're going to put the class into the queue and reserve the bandwidth like 20% in, into the Q0, 30% to the Q1, 10% to the Q2, respectively. Once we have configured the localized policies, then we're going to go to the second step, going to the centralized policies. Then we have a traffic data policies there. Then we do a matching the applications or the prefix list or even the port number or anything 
that can be selected into the matching statement on the traffic data policies. We put the action there. Action is we want to put those uh, matching statements into the forwarding class. Then we're going to put those applications to the queue. For example, like voice traffic action is going to be um, to the forwarding class Q0 or video to the forwarding class Q1 for example this is a centralized policies now we have localized policies and the centralized policies already then uh, don't forget the last step it is the interface template itself that we need to go to the WAN interface then we need to uh, we need to configure the benefits shaping as well then on that interface we need to put the QoS map that we just created in the localized policies into the port as well so as I said it is configure uh, bandwidth shaping um, in the features template of the interface uh, it is in the shaping rate there for example 10k which is the 10 megabit per second egress then we're gonna configure the QoS map the name should be the same as what we have configured from the localized policies this is important because if it's not the same then it is not gonna match the QoS map on the interface there Alright, in summary in this tutorial, to do QoS first we need to create the localized policies which we can configure the class and the queue. Uh, this is the scheduling part. Second is we need to configure the centralized policies to uh, actually put the traffic from the LAN side to the WAN side having those applications mapped into the class. The last thing is we go to the interface when and uh, configure the shaping rate and the QoS map in uh, to that features template of the interface there. Then the configuration of the QoS of the CISO SD WAN is completed. Then we come to the end of the tutorial. However, in the next episode, I'm going to do the configuration on the vManage UI. For you again then you can uh, use that as a reference to do the Cisco SD WAN QoS. Mm -hmm.